Did you see all their reactions, dude? Yeah, reactions Simon's too. shaking my hands and shit. Like people. Really? Yeah, someone shook my hand. Didn't you get that? You don't think it's cruel at all? I eat my, I, I, I'm also what do you think of this? Boys. I love steak. You love steak? Yes, yes. Even if you're talking about it now, it, it doesn't resonate with me, but it makes me feel really uncomfortable. Yeah. It really makes me feel like, oh my god. But That's you weird. know what? You you're know. making the connection again. I am making the connection. I have never lost the connection. Yeah. But you know what? One of the best conversations I've had for a while, mate. Thank really. You. I'm showing it to people, asking them what they think. Eating meat is animal cruelty. Yeah. Do you agree? I do. You do agree? Yes. Why is it cruel, do you think? I mean, you need my full, my, my full attention. Why is this cruel, eating meat? Uh, I would say, actually, I would say it, it depends how. Depends how you kill them? Yes. That makes it cruel? I think it depends how you process the whole thing. I think, like, excessive meat consumption is a bit harsh. Yeah. I think if you consume what you plant or what you seed yourself, yeah, that's a bit more acceptable. But also, I come from a culture that is a heavy meat eater. What culture? I'm, I'm, I'm Lebanese. Lebanese. I'm from Australia. It's heavy meat eating there too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, Lebanese is pretty heavy meat eating. But like, would you agree with that statement? Like, if the animal was treated well and they had their head cut off, would you say that the act of killing that animal is cruel? I wouldn't think it's related to whether it is well treated or not and also we don't have that much like neuroscientific awareness whether animals do understand the idea of like that conscious sense of you being. don't feel that they're sentient like they're not having a con their own conscious experience well, we, we, we don't know that much from, I, I know that for a fact we don't know from a neuroscientific perspective we don't know enough about that yet we don't yeah. know that they're having their own conscious experience yeah to, to, to do oh really yeah I didn't I've never actually heard that uh, I think they passed something in, in Cambridge it's called the uh, declaration of consciousness yeah. to animals have you heard about that yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that suggest animals are conscious? But then play that, play that idea in your mind for a bit. Being conscious about something is one thing. Having, like, for example, I've had a dog for years. Yeah. Left home, came back, didn't rec recognize me, right? So this consciousness of being aware as in like, yeah, I, I, I have feelings, I know where you are. The memory thing you're saying. That's, that's but you would still say your dog suffers and doesn't want to be harmed and you Yeah, would... but it's a very temp temporary thing. Like, it's not a kind of like a long-term mnemonic activity that you go through that like, you remember trauma or anything it's just a very short so if you kick thing. a dog they won't remember that the next time you see them no. oh really as far as i understand i'm the neuroscientist but like i tend to so eat, an no. animal won't remember being abused no. okay so but let's just say they have some well-being do you think that that it's justified to rob them of that well-being would that be cruel what do you mean like let's animals experience well-being they yeah. experience pain and joy you ex you agree with that yeah yeah, they get happy and sad and hungry and do you think it's cruel to rob them of their life? Yeah. I, I, I wanted to ask you just the other way around. So it's not true by the way what I just said now before. But I wanted to ask you a question about, about that. If, if it's true that animals do have a long-term memory or not, or whether we believe that they have a long-term consciousness or not, does it make a difference whether you actually treat the animal the way you treat them or not? I don't think it does. I think if a human being didn't have a long-term memory, no. it wouldn't justify killing them or treating them immorally. If a dog didn't remember, you know, whatever, I don't think we should treat animals um, like in a certain way based on their intelligence. Just the fact that they can feel pain and want to live mm -hmm. and, you know, have experienced joy and, you know, well-being and those things. Yeah. I feel like we should respect, still respect their life. Right. Do you think we need to eat meat? No. So I'm, I'm going to tell you, I've been exposed to these things quite a few times yeah. and the last two statements I said were not true in yeah. terms of like the idea of not having consciousness or anything but I want to see what kind of like I guess like, for lack of better terminology spiritualist or kind of like uh, Wow, you were testing me A little bit just yeah. to see what kind of person you are wow. to see what, what you have in mind To be honest with you we were just talking about this the idea like literally just now about yeah. the idea of qualia So qualia is the, what it's like to be So the qualia of a bat means like what it's like to be a bat so what is it to experience or to step into the shoes of, right? It's yeah. like an ontological concept. Uh, and we we're just literally discussing this. That's wow. why I like our, our So like empathy. Yeah, exactly. So putting yourself in other people's position, in a pig's position, exactly. in a cow's position. And we were literally having conversations, not about animals, but we're having this conversation like, does empathy make a difference when it comes to, like if you step into something, something, even not someone, something's shoes, does it mean that you would not treat it differently once you've come back to your own body and look at it? And we don't know. Like, what about a cat? Like, what animals do you eat? 
I, I, I'm, I'm quite open to all animals. There. So you eat any any animal, or every animal? The ones I've been exposed to. It's not okay. Like I, I go uh, so them. like culturally, what animals would you eat? Like cows and lambs yeah. and sh yeah. yeah, like do you watch them be slaughtered? I have, I have in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, we had this discussion as well. Yeah. How did and you feel when? I was quite young as well, and it doesn't make much of a difference. But the reason why I brought up the initial point, and that's the real one that I believe in, is I think there is a difference in terms of how you treat an animal, for sure. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't make a difference whether there's short-term or long-term memory, as you were saying before. Like, imagine there's a human being that has just no memory. Alzheimer's. Just, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Or even just like rob from their memory. Like, yeah. think MK Ultra, CIA days. Yeah, right? yeah. It doesn't justify mistreating them in that sense. So I am. I come from a culture that's heavy meat eater. I am slowly transitioning into vegetarianism, but I am continuously asking myself the question: Why am I right? Because. I don't know why I'm doing it. I, I know that there's a lot of repercussions that we as humans have on, but from that point of view, so we, we should minimize it. But I'm not the kind of person who thinks about it as I should do it, thus I should. So I'm trying to analyze. Well, I'm trying to, let me work out your moral system for a second here. So, do you think we have a responsibility not to harm other people? Other people, humans, yeah, trees, yeah, humans. anything in the ecosystem that is even remotely alive, which we should not. So do you think there's, well, I, I'm with you when it comes to human beings and animals. When it comes to plants though, like, obviously, I don't think they have consciousness. No, but as we, as we said before, like, yeah. that's why I try to put that premise down yeah. to see how you think. Even that for me, it doesn't make a difference. Like, even when you take care of someone's f fucking car, because it's well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. an object at the end of the day, when you build a sentimental value to it, you remember this example, if I call this Ben, and I talk to you about Ben for 10 minutes, and I break Ben, you're like, you broke Ben. Yeah, no, no, so no. It's about where we plant our emotion, right? Yeah. So, like the conscious, that's why I was saying, the reason why I was talking about that conscious aspect is does consciousness actually make a difference when it comes to our relationship things? Like, some, like we, we, we've had crusades for years, and that's just a concept. Like, God's not around us. Well, the only reason we matter is because we can experience well being and suffering. Exactly. If and you're in a coma, yeah. and you were never going to be woken, and you had no family that were going to be sad that you were killed, yeah. and you died, or someone killed you, I mean, there would be no real. Um, repercussions for that you're not ever going to experience any well-being or consciousness but then, but then that's the whole debate about like utilitarianism versus Kantianism which yeah. is do you do things based on the consequence or by principle as in yes I, I could a mixture do you, do you have a mixture yeah yeah because otherwise otherwise one is too idealistic one is too yeah. inhuman yeah I still think it's wrong to kill even um, but I do think there's scenarios that justify killing but I just don't think our pleasure or culture or tradition the reasons we eat meat are, are justifications for eating animals not true but, but to, to finish my point, and I'll leave you on that, is I've been questioning myself about why I'm gradually going into vegetarianism. And I don't want it to be a bit based on guilt, because if I ever want to teach somebody else, be it my kid, my friend, my mom, whomever, yeah. how I became a vegetarian, I wouldn't want it to be based on guilt, because we, like being guilt, like guilt as the main basis of change has proven historically not, not to work. That's why you pass around, you see this kid, this African kid on the poster, you're like, eh, you move around, you get desensitized. So I'm trying to find what are the things beyond guilt that are turning me from a meat eater into a vegetarian. What about moral consistency? Because you apply your ethical system to humans and other animals, but there's certain animals you exclude from that moral system. Yeah, although... It's, it's still something I'm still thinking about like on a continuous basis. I think a lot of it has to do with if, if, if it takes me a little bit of effort to make a difference, I will do it, right? And as humans, we are a lazy breed. That's convenience. Convenience. And if my moral convenience can allow me to do good, then I'll kind of steer that boat in that direction. But still, to go back to my initial point, I'm trying to figure out outside of guilt. I'm talking about myself. You might tell me, yeah, but morally, if I, we don't always wake up and think about, about the structure of our moral compass, do we? No. We think about our day to day microcosm that is I, that is my friends, that is my family. I'm not caring about you because you don't exist in my universe, right? Yeah, you don't might not care about me, but you wouldn't want to see me get harmed and killed and exploited for your burger. But people are have like are people are exploited every single day, and I don't wake up think, thinking about them. That's why I'm going like, what is if your conscious decision was causing harm to a human being or an animal that you? Yeah, it is. Everything that I'm wearing probably. Has yeah, maybe, no. maybe somewhere down the line, yeah, but, it's but as direct even, even. as a burger, like as direct as eating their flesh, like I don't know. I mean, as much as I want to say everything I'm wearing is ethical, it's not, is it? I don't know if there's a Filipino kid that was wearing this, but but, but that's what I mean by the idea of like, how as a society can we move away from guilt into something a bit more constructive 
and also still more pragmatic than your philosophical construct because I don't wake up in the morning thinking about my philosophical construct of my moral compass. Again, I'm wearing everything that I'm hoping is not so in my 12 year old Filipino kid. I mean, obviously, we cause some amount of harm, we can't avoid all harm, but that doesn't mean we should by that your point cause its like, maximum amount of harm possible. My, my point is, like, pick your battles. Yeah, I mean, this is a really easy one to win. I mean, yeah. like, changing your diet, I mean, eating a vegan burger over a beef that's burger, true. I mean. Well, yeah, that's true. I think I think a lot of it has to do with, like, for me, it's even the little things, like, when I go back home, it's not about pissing off my grandmother, who's, like, yeah. spent all these years, Falafel, like, hummus, and pita bread. I get it. Yeah, Here, yeah. brother, let me give you this. This is um, English slaughter and farms, and stuff about the environment and health, but here's a vegan challenge, 22 days on Facebook, Beautiful. and they'll just give you like, so you can dip your feet in the water, and then if you feel like continuing it on, it's all free, everything's free, it's no, just no, some no, information. I'm, 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 I'm it's funny, we're just talking about qualia just now. Is it like, what outside of guilt can drive humans to change behavioral kind of like, uh, shift from A to B, whatever A Empathy? It it's kind of tied to guilt, but it's not the same energy. It's funny, I just, I work in virtual reality. We done what we call body swap experiences, where you yeah. swap bodies with someone else. And oh, wow. these are experiences where they are meant to drive empathy by, by design. It works in a short amount of time, but then it dissipates back again. I think it's because even empathy, we've learned how to desensitize an, an empathy. It's a very powerful tool, don't get me wrong. You only need it for when you get hungry. So that's a short amount of time. Yeah. <laughs> true. true, true. That's good. Cool. So what, what, what are you guys working on? I just noise your uh, mic. I, I'm going. I'm just asking people if they they think this is true, mm. and then finding out their stance on it because most people kind of agree with it, but yeah, it, it gets them thinking. Doing, yeah, because yeah, most people's doing. actions are out of line with their own beliefs on animals. So just experiments, public experiments. So that's good. Yeah, nice. I appreciate this conversation. That's you same. brought a lot to the table, and I, yeah, uh, you're very intelligent, and I like how you tried to. Uh, uh, especially the first two test statements, me. That because someone today did the same thing to me. They like gave me two rubbish scientific facts. I'm like, uh huh. And like, no, that's not true. But let's talk about that. And I just literally just did the same thing to you. And I'm, it's intriguing because when you say like 99% of X is Y, and you're like, oh really? People just want a statistic just to pass through it and just build an opinion on top of that. And today someone did that to me, and it was so fresh in my mind. Now you just came to me. I'm like, how about we try that? As it's little... proven animals aren't. It hasn't been proven that animals are conscious. Uh, yeah, and I'm just yeah, like, what? Exactly. Wait a second. And my dog does fucking remember me for sure. <laughs> yeah. Your dog, so, yeah, yeah. No, but it's, uh, it's 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 interesting, man. But it's true. It's a, it's a very interesting thing I've been thinking about, especially after a music festival I just came back from. It's a big gathering of tribal people. You see all breeds of people, and I've been really questioning myself, like, what else can drive me but guilt? Because I'm a very guilt-driven person in my day-to-day -day life. And I'm guilt there for a reason, though, dude. Like, uh, I can give you a bit of my like family historical, but guilt works for me, right? And, yeah. And and in many ways, if it gets me to behave in the good ways, why not? But it's not something I can pass on to my kid one day because I don't want my kids to be guilt-ridden. Like, you have to drive. Like, I rather positive reinforcement. Like, exactly. these are the positive consequences exactly. of your actions, exactly. and let that drive them. That's a really good value to instill. Yeah. Exactly. That's why, like, I'm trying to find that. Not just when it comes to to this, to a lot more things in terms of like. I want to cut down on drugs not because of X or Y when it comes to my body, but more around like what else can you bring gain? in? Gain, what can you gain from it? Exactly. I love that. Mixed really good. Me. Thanks, Mixed brother. Me. Thank you. Pleasure. Peace to you, mate. Excellent. All right, we got two really good conversations. He was a legend, that guy. He was a legend. See how he tricked me? <laughs> Animals haven't been proven to be conscious, and my dog would not remember me. I was just like, what? He was so interesting. He tricked me, threw those questions at me. There's a couple of ways to argue things like that. Like, in principle, he was wrong when it came to dogs being able to remember, you know, long term. But I just granted him if that were true, you know? If that were true, would that morally justify harming the dog because they didn't have long term memory? And then you can just draw the comparison to humans, would that then justify harming a human who didn't have a long-term memory? So, in principle, he was wrong, but we can still grant someone that um, they're right and see if it still fits. But he was excellent to talk to. I really enjoyed that, so, yeah. Anyway, I think that was a good day. That was good. The little experiment worked, I think. <laughs> Got a lot of heads turning and we had some good conversations. You were testing me.
a little bit. Yeah. See if I can impress you all. Wow.